We got an email late last night with some very, very exciting news. to the introvert circus i'm sassafras this is serious and we are here with such an exciting God, sit down announcement conversation video for the what is today the eighth day the eighth day of vlogtober oh my goodness so this is a video that is going to be just a quick little update about some really exciting news that we got about the uh, American Kennel Club National Trek Dog Competition for 2022. This is one of my favorite events. Every year it started, uh, we've been competing in it since 2020. I think it started in 2019. It is so much fun and we got an email late last night with some very, very exciting news. Are you ready? Drum roll. The very exciting news is that Miss Sirius is the number one Newfoundland in the competition, which is just like beyond exciting to me. Um, it is a really big um, competition that is of uh, all kinds of dogs, all kinds of breeds and mixed breeds. The requirement to enter it every year is that the dog needs to have their AKC Elite Performer title, which is the highest trick dog title that you can earn with the AKC. Um, and it is some of the absolute finest trick dogs anywhere in the country entering this competition. You have to create a routine um, in order to, like that is your entry, is a performed routine that has a story attached to it. And it's, I think it's a maximum of six minutes, five minutes routine. And in it, you have to do, I believe it's at least 15 tricks, 10 tricks. It's been a minute since I did our routines. Uh, so this year we did two different routines um, and it was, oh, it was so much fun. So in 2020, we entered for the first time and in that year, um, Sirius also was the number one Newfoundland in the competition, which was just amazing. Um, her first routine we did in 2020 was a uh, routine of the story of Seaman, who was the Newfoundland of Lewis and Clark. So she did a little history report with that. That was her first routine. Her routine last year, which was a national qualifier as well. Um, and that routine, she did a story, you rubbing your face, sweet girl. She did a story uh, about dogs in space and she was a little astronaut. And then this year we decided to do two routines because you are allowed to do up to two routines. And so the routines she did this year were, um, and they're already on our channel. I will include links below if you want to check them out. <laughs> were um, one that was, hey, teacher, this. hi, are you sleepy? I know I woke you up when we started filming in here. You're this. Oh, oh God. The two routines that we did, the first one is uh, Cooking with Sirius, which was a like a pilot idea for a TV show, a cooking show. So Sirius did some cooking for that. And then the second one was a history report of Sirius going through the history of the American Kennel Club. It was so much fun to do and like acting out that history. So we had tons of fun. Again, I'll put the links to both of her um, videos for this year's competition below. And but it was it was it was a blast. So we submitted those and then we waited to see how we would do. Uh, we got the emails um, last night and today sort of for context. It was the biggest competition um, they've had yet. There were over 150 dog handler teams who qualified, meaning that their performance um, was was qualifying, meaning it met all of the requirements for the competition. And then um, there are awards given out for various categories, like the, the winner of the overall competition that was announced, whose performance routine was so amazing. There's awards for junior handlers. Uh, and then there are best of breed awards. So number one in breed for um, a whole variety of breeds. And it was, oh my God, getting the email that she was the number one Newfoundland just was such, it was, it was so amazing because tricks are our primary sport. We have so much fun together. She has so much drive and so much just joy with doing tricks and being able to see um, her talents get recognized by a, a judging panel is just, it's just amazing. Like 
the most important thing is having fun with my dog for sure but to see you know others um you know recognizing how skilled she is and how technically talented she is um, as a trick dog is just really really amazing and to be number one in our breed is something that honestly you know i never thought um that i would have a dog who was able to go to that level in our primary sport and it's it's just it's a dream come true it's just absolutely incredible and i am just so proud of her and we had so much fun putting the routines together um i'm actually realizing that i think i'm wearing the same dress that i was wearing when i recorded our routines which is really funny because i'm not sure i haven't worn this dress a lot um this summer but i it's really warm today and so i pulled it out of my summer wardrobe and i'm pretty sure it's actually what i wore the day we filmed so that's pretty funny but uh anyway so we got the emails letting us know um that she is the number one noof also letting us know that our rosettes um are coming in the mail towards the end of october so whenever those come i will do a video showing those to you if it's in october all the better it will be a vlogtober video but i will show you the rosettes and trophies we've gotten from past years of the competition um i again i absolutely love this this competition if it's something that sounds interesting and exciting to you and you're like oh i want to put together a trick routine with my dog definitely encourage you to check out the AKC's trick dog program. It's absolutely fantastic. I am a CGC evaluator, which means I'm a trick dog evaluator. So I can evaluate trick dog titles. If you want to get started, info below, definitely check out my Facebook training group, Tricks in the City. It's the same name as one of my training books. I love coaching dog handler teams. I've coached over 300 teams to, through earning titles, both with AKC and do more with your dog. Uh, and there is really something for everyone within those titling programs um, for dogs of all sizes, all ages, all skill levels. You know, you really, really build um, on those skills to earn those titles. It's so much fun. Definitely reach out if you're interested in starting to uh, earn trick titles with your dog, maybe to earn the elite performer title by next year. And if AKC does this competition again, then you and your dog would be ready to enter it. I hope they do it again next year. It really is one of my favorite events. I love it so, so much. Um, so let's go look at some trophies and ribbons. Again, these are from the past two years. We don't have our 2022 ribbons yet, but we are told that they are going to be mailed soon and should be here. Um, hopefully by the end of the month. So we're gonna go over to our ribbon wall. Uh, I believe it was last year we got sent this beautiful elite performer uh, medallion that I have hanging here, it's super pretty. Connected to um, the trick dog competition. Here is our 2021 qualifying, national competition qualifier ribbon. It's super beautiful, I really love this ribbon. And then, definitely my most treasured ribbon this is our 2020 national competition elite performer number one newfoundland ribbon uh and i absolutely love this it is one of my one of my um proudest dog achievements of all time for sure uh, so this is always front and center on our ribbon wall and i cannot wait to get the 2022 one and then over here we also do have trophies this was the 2021 um paperweight trophy that we were sent as a national as a qualifier in the national competition uh this was the trophy from 2020 it spins it's very fun um for being a, a qualifier in that so fun there was also this one from 2020 that she was sent that is really pretty so those live on the bookshelf with some art from um, amazing artists who have made art of mysterious and sent it to us um but, but yeah those are the prizes i cannot wait to see what this year close out like. today's video by saying a huge congratulations to all the elite performer dog handler teams who entered the competition this year i hope that you had as much fun as we did with it i also wanted to say a huge thank you to the american kennel club for organizing the competition and to the judges panel for all of your hard work judging all of these trick routines and um a huge thank you for recognizing sirius within that lineup um of Newfoundlands. We are so excited about it. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just over the moon excited. And so I had had a different plan for today's video, but this obviously had to be 
what today's video was given that we got this news late last night. So I had to share it with you all today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you compete in Trick Dog, if you entered this year's competition. I'd love to you know, put links. We'd love to all go watch other um, routines. I'd love to see them. I'm sure other people watching the video will also love to see them. And we will see you in tomorrow's Vlogtober video. Don't forget to have fun with your dogs.